This is a quick video to introduce you how to use the R command summary document we mentioned uh, in class. In the lessons and modules tab in the course website, if you go under the button for resources, you will see the R command summary document. There's a Word document and a, a data file called import.csv importdata.csv. This is a fake data set that will um, allow you to run the commands uh, so you can see what the output looks like. So you can go ahead and download both of these. I'll assume you've done that. If you come over to uh, the Word document, at top we've got an overview that kind of tells you how things work in this data file. There's a table of contents with hyperlink to different parts of the document that correspond to the different uh, things we're going to talk about in class um, over the course of the term. Uh, and then uh, each block will usually have an R syntax block. The first thing we talk about in the document is importing data. And generally the way things work is what you want to do is simply highlight the um, syntax in the block, copy it, move over to R Studio. I'm going to go up here and go to File, create a new script file, and then I'm simply going to paste in the um, text. Let me move this over just a little bit so you can see. And what um, you'll see that the green corresponds, as we talked to in class, or the green lines are preceded by pound signs, meaning these are comments that are intended for uh, you to help you how to use these and explain the syntax. There's two lines of syntax here that are in black. Um, both of these are using a function called read.csv, which allows you to import data into uh, R Studio. Uh, what you'll need to do is change the data path name to where you've stored the file on your hard drive. Header equal true means that the first row of the CSV file has the variable names in it. Um, but so I've also included a line of uh, code here that will directly read in the CSV file from uh, from the cloud so you don't have to worry about where putting the path name in. So if you simply highlight this second line of syntax and run it, you'll see a nice blue line, the cursor comes back in the console, and we now have a new data object. It's gone out to the web, loaded up this uh, fake data object that will work with the syntax in this file to demonstrate how, how the different code works. So if we um, click the little down arrow, you'll see, so we have 15 uh, observations of five variables. The five variables are var1, var2, var.cat1, group, and group3. If we click over here on the icon, it'll pop this up so you can see the actual values. Um, and so now we can go ahead and use this um, as we explore how the different commands in the file function. So if I close this data window and I go back here, when this uh, title is read, that means that uh, something's been changed in your script window that has not been saved. And so we can click the Save button, and um, it'll ask for a file name. We'll just call this Test1. And uh, I'm going to put this in my desktop folder. We'll just stick it there. Now it's black, indicating that uh, we've saved it. As soon as I change something in a script file, I get a red icon again indicating that it needs to be saved uh, prior to closing. But anyhow, so if we go back to the Word document, let's go find um, a different command that we can run down here. Let's scroll through. Uh, so uh, let's not do that. We've uh, talked about structure. Um, how about the head command? So let's grab uh, this piece of code here, syntax, and go back to our studio. Let's scroll down a bit so we can see the separation and we'll go ahead and paste this in. So we've got um, some comments there and we've got the head function. So let's go ahead and just highlight and run this. We've already got the my data object in here. So if we run this, we go ahead and um, the head tells you the um, beginning values uh, listed for the variable in question, var1. And if we go back and open up var1 again, what we'll see is observations 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are 8, 22, 5, 6, and 13, and 12. 
or it's actually the first six, sorry. But so here they are. So this is really telling you the, it's a simple command that tells you how to figure out what the, what the values are. It's an easy way to check what the raw data values are for a particular variable. So you can go through this document and um, find different um, things like so uh, subsetting. Here's the subset command that we worked before. Let's see if we put this in R and uh, in our script file. Just paste it on in there. Go ahead and run this command. And it runs and it's created a new variable called treat that has eight observations of five variables. So that's split our data set. And so what you generally want to do is you can grab the uh, syntax, pull it into R, run it on the my data, see what it looks like. And then what you're going to want to do is modify the arguments for the function to match whatever your data object is that you want to use this with, right? So after you verified it works and understand, you can go ahead and change um, the data file or the data object uh, to yours. And then you can go ahead and run these commands. And that's generally how it's supposed to work. Uh, hope this video is helpful and uh, we'll be creating some additional ones.